everyone and welcome back to today's video i hope you're all doing well so in this one i'm going to be talking about this palette right here so this one is from douglas and it's their beauty makeup palette of course i just love 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 the pink packaging and you guys know you know i love pink so so much so when i saw this i was like yes i have to try it um so yeah i got it and today i'm going to be reviewing this palette to you guys so this is how the front looks like and this is how the back looks like of course with all the details so i'm just gonna go ahead and open it and show you how it looks like so here is how the inside looks like of course you do get a good size mirror i just love when palettes you know come with a mirror it's quite cool and right here is written beauty and when you slide this of course you do get all the beautiful shades in here so this palette contains uh, six um, eyeshadows of course which is quite cool you do get one uh, shimmer as well and you do get uh, highlighters you've got bronzer uh, you've got blush you've got contour so you pretty much ha have it all in this one palette basically so this video i'm going to be creating a look uh, using some or all of these shades in here so if you guys are interested in seeing on how these of course will look like on my eyes then keep on watching but before we begin make sure you do take a moment and subscribe to my channel down below and also turn on a notification bell so you are notified every time i upload a new video so you don't get to miss out anywho enough talking now let's get into the video so i am done uh priming my eyelids using the Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade number 40 so now we're just gonna jump straight into the eyeshadows i'm going to begin by using this uh shade right here this one is called ember glow which is this one right here and i'm going to use this one all over the crease so we do get a bit of uh fallout of course if you guys can see that yeah just put this one right here okay that's not too bad the color is picking quite good which is quite nice I think that's that's all right at the transition to shade it doesn't look too bad all right yeah there's a bit of fallout definitely just keep that in mind so moving on i'm going to take this uh next shade right here called chili which is right in the corner there and i'm going to put this one um right here hmm That's an interesting color, this one. And just blending everything together. So next, I'm going to take this one right here. It's called uh, Top. And I'm going to put this one on the um, on the outer edge of my eyes. Just around here. And next, I'm taking this uh, shade right here called Mustard. And I'm going to put this one um here i changed my mind i don't like how this um orange shade looks like so i'm just gonna pop the you know the mustard on top of that just needs more blending so that's how that looks like it's not too bad actually i like this shade i like the mustard it's really really nice and there's not so much a uh, fallout on this one here quite interesting but these two here are uh, chili and ember glow yeah that was just too much of fallout uh, coming from there but this one is not too bad not too bad at all uh so i think that looks all right now moving on i'm going to take this um shade in the corner here called uh clove right it's more like a shimmer metallic sort of shade and i'm going to apply this on my eyelid of course using my finger i think it's the best it's the best approach oh that's a nice one that looks beautiful wow i like this shade a lot yes globe come to me it looks stunning wow 
Look at that, you guys. This looks nice. Okay, not bad at all. Not bad. So I'm just going to take a clean um, brush and just go around the edges. Make sure everything is uh, nicely laid. And I'm going to go back to the uh, mustard, of course, and apply this one. Again, just here. And next, I'm going to go in with this shade right here called uh, Sunburst and put this one here on my brow bone, which is here. Just applying this one. And again, we do get a bit of fallout as well with this shade. Just keep that in mind that some of these shades, of course, you will have some fallout. All right. So the eyes are looking like they are, you know, they are done. Now it's time for a contour and I'm going to use this shade, of course, it's written contour and we're going to contour with this one. Um, again, there are a lot of fallout, as you guys can see, there are a lot. So just, ooh, that's too much fallout. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> so, put this one here. It is not deep enough. That's pretty much what I can say. It's um, yeah. It's it also looks a little bit more like reddish um on my on my skin, as if you guys can see that. But I can see a bit of reddish in there. So um, I would prefer like a slightly more darker darker shade. Honestly, yeah, that's not dark enough for me, unfortunately. But we're just gonna use it anyhow. Go around my forehead. So this is how the you know the contour looks like. I would have preferred it to be a little bit more darker than this because uh, it's not really doing much, uh, as you can see. And also you can see a little bit of reddish coming through there, which I don't live for. So yeah, this one is not really working for me. But we're gonna move on. We're gonna try some um, some blush and I'm going to take this one right here it's called a uh, matte blush so let's put this one here on the cheeks um, and see how this one performs and again there's lots of fallout coming from here or M to the G can you guys see that that's a lot coming out <laughs> but oh oh <clears throat> oh but the color is stunning though i love the color oh m to the g this is beautiful wow look at that color that looks beautiful i really really love this color so so much it's a shame that there are lots of fallout coming from here but the color itself is stunning So it is time for some highlighter and I am going to go with this one here. This one is called uh, Brightening. This one right here. So let's put this one in see how, how it performs, of course. Ooh. Okay. That is... Oh, oh. I think I put too much. Wow. Whoa. That is... Oh. Can you guys see that? Oh, M to the G. Wow. That is sh for sure brightening. Oh my gosh. Whew. I don't think I even put that much on the on the brush. Oh, did I? Wow. Okay, no, that's that's a little bit too much uh, for me, but um do you know what? We're going to try the other one on the other eye, actually. Let's try this one here. This one is called Starlight. Um, Starlight. Let's try this one on the other cheek and see how this one looks like. Um, yeah, let's find out, actually. Let's find out. I'll use this blush here. Just dabbing in there.
yeah this one is a little bit more subtle uh, i actually prefer this one um you know over the other one the other one i think it's just too brightening it's just it's just too much but this one it's actually not too bad and of course i'm pretty sure it's beautiful so you can build it to how blinding you want it to be but i think that's not too bad at all let me just actually do some spray and see how how that will perform spray it on oh, okay yeah it's picking more okay so if you want it to stand out more probably you can you know you can use some fixing spray and you get something like that so that's really nice it's but still it's not that blinding compared to this side you guys look at that you can see the difference between this side it's like wow you know they can see me from like far from like a distance they can see me like here i am you know uh, i'm ready for the party but this one here it's not too bad it's like something that i would wear you know um so yeah yeah this one actually let's turn the, let's tone this one down a little bit just not you know not something i would reach for uh, or you know i wouldn't go out looking that you know that highlighted that's better slightly i think it's better than before before was too much yeah anywho so that's pretty much you guys that's pretty much uh i've used well except for this uh for these two shades i haven't used these two shades here um this one and this one because uh you know i think my face have enough already so here are the swatches of the eyeshadows i do have six of them here so this is how they look like up close so those three are bronze and contour and that's how they look like here we have the two highlighters so that's how they look like as you can see the first one is very very blinding right there all right guys so i'm going to give you my final review on this palette uh the one from douglas and that's their beauty makeup palette so after playing with the shades uh you know and all the highlighter and all that good stuff i have to say that uh probably it's not my best palette so far uh and i'll tell you why because they do have six eyeshadows in here but I only you know found two useful which is uh, mustang and also the glove so those two were quite useful for me because i do tried you know i have tried all six but the other four were just not really my go-to um most of them they had lots of fallout too so like i don't know if you guys saw that but they were like lots of fallout especially from this one here and from that one there it was just too much and um uh, and also they were a little bit hard to blend which is you know quite um a no for me so yeah and moving on to the contour that did not work too because it's i find it not too dark um it's just not dark enough for me because uh, when i put it on it wasn't doing anything and on top of that it was leaving this like a reddish you know sort of uh, finish and i really i uh, don't like that in my contour to be honest i just prefer it to be nice and beautiful but this didn't work for me so it's a no uh the the blush the blush is beautiful this one i would definitely reach for again and again because this is beautiful stunning blush definitely i would go for that again highlighters yeah one of them worked one of them was a little bit too much a little bit extra you know what i mean but if you are that girl who likes to be you know extra on highlighting then this will be perfect for you because this one is like really brightening um but i find it a little bit too much for me uh on the other hand this one here this one is beautiful uh the starlight that worked beautifully and this one is the one that i would definitely reach for over and over and over so overall um you know there are some good things and also not so good things about this palette um you know but of course the most let down thing is that the loads of loads of fallout coming from this palette um on top of that you know the other shades just, just didn't do uh, much when it comes to blending a little bit tough you know you have to really go in there but um this one was not that hard to blend though this one was so easy i don't understand you know this one was so nice to blend and so easy but the other one was just like a little bit that needs work and so yeah that's probably a negative thing for me but other than that um i would definitely reach for this palette again i can't say no because they are 
you know good shades that are really light in this palette so yeah but i would say that once i finish this palette i don't think i will repurchase it again so yeah that's pretty much it um i hope you guys found this review quite useful if you did don't forget to give this video a huge massive thumbs up and of course if you are not a subscriber please do take a moment and subscribe to my channel down below also turn on your notification bell so you are notified every time i upload a new video so anywho that's it for this video today i hope you had fun so yeah take care and i will catch you guys on my next video bye for now